A hearty good morning, dear students. Today, let us continue with the periodic table, and this lesson is for standard ten. Today, we are going to discuss about the periodic properties. Now, you must be wondering what is periodic properties. Now, these are special kind of properties that generally depend on the electronic configuration, and definitely shows a re regular graduation as we move across a period or down a group. You as you remember in the modern periodic table, the modern periodic table had groups and periods. So whenever a property shows differences when you move down a group or across a period, then we call that properties as periodic properties. Now, namely, periodic properties that we are going to learn can be divided as atomic size, ionization potential, electron affinity, electron negativity. metallic or non metallic characteristics now to begin with the understanding of the properties let us first understand a concept of nuclear charge now what is a nuclear charge it is a force that pulls the electrons from the outermost shell towards the nucleus now why this force is developed as we already know that the nucleus has a positive charge and electrons are negatively charged so a certain force would be uh, would be there that shall pull the electrons towards the nucleus this particular force is called as a nuclear charge now we can see over here the two diagrams in the one diagram we can see that the size of the atom is very small whereas the size of the atom over here is very big now when the size of this atom is smaller the electrons shall experience much bigger pull than when the size is bigger so thus we can say that size plays a very important factor in nuclear pull and it also depend it also influences the atomic size as more is the pull more will uh, less will be the size if less is the pull more will be the atomic size now let us begin our understanding with the first periodic property that is atomic size now what is atomic size it is the distance between the center of the nucleus of an atom and its outermost shell so if you can see over here there are two diagrams i have given one is an individual atom where the center of the nucleus is taken as a standard part from there to the last orbit the distance between this is called as atomic radii now when you come to the at um, molecule now we can see over here the distance between the two nucleuses is considered as an internuclear distance so what factors does these size atom rather what factors does atomic size depends on the factors which influences atomic size is number of shells and the nuclear charge now let us understand how these two factors plays an important role in forming the atomic size dear students please focus over here now we can take the elements of group number 1 it starts from hydrogen and ends up at cesium now if you can see over here as we moving down the group what is happening the number of shells keeps on increasing as the number of shells keeps on increasing the distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell keeps on increasing as a result the size keeps on increasing thus whenever we move down a group we see that the atomic size keeps on increasing now let us see in case of a period now what happens when we move across a period now we are taking period number 2 which starts with lithium and ends up with neon we'll rather see only till fluorine i'll explain what happens in case of a uh, atomic size of the noble gases but before that we have to first understand what is what is happening to the atomic size of these elements from lithium to fluorine now whenever we move across a period what we need to remember is the number of shell remains same in this case since it is, since it belongs to period number 2 therefore the size also the number of shell remains 2 2 in each cases you can see the diagram two shell over here two shell over here two shell over here and so on and so forth so under that situation 
on what factor will the atomic size depend on it utterly depends on the nuclear charge now if you can understand as we move across a period the nucleus keeps on increasing why it increases because new proton is added to the nucleus altogether thus the power of the charge will keep on increasing so it will tend to pull the electrons from the outermost shell towards itself more and more strongly as we move across a period so thus what do we can see over here we see that the size of the atom keeps on decreasing and it decreases till your group number 17 but what about group number 18 we can see group number 17 and 18 the 18 will have a bigger size now the funny part over here is to understand is the size of the group number 18 is bigger for the reason that electrons number in the outermost orbit for uh, for your noble gases is around 8 so that's what happened when the nuclear pull pulls the electron towards itself the electrons comes very close to each other as a result of this what happened it experienced something called as electron electron repulsion because remember electron is a negatively charged whenever two negatively charged will come close together it will experience a a push now this repulsion that is seen in this case is causes the size of an atom to increase finally students do remember that the atomic size is influenced by two factors one is number of shells and we can see the number of shell case when we move down the group whenever a number whenever a group when we move down the group the size keeps on increasing because of the addition of new shell and whenever we move across a period we can see the next factor influencing that is nuclear charge with this we end up today's class tomorrow we shall discuss about ionization potential thank you